Hey everybody, it's Leslie from Discovery Fabrics and today we're going to do some testing on the cooling evaporative fabrics that we have. Um, before I start this test and explain the fabrics that we're using today, I quickly have to take the, the same four fabrics that I've soaked in water and then wrung out in a towel so that these fabrics are all equally damp. And I'm just going to hang that up so that the air can start working on those. Um, probably going to take a minute or so before we go back to them and actually take temperatures. So I have a couple of fabrics here today that I'm going to be demonstrating. The first one is uh, made by Polar Tech and it's called Power Dry. And this is a beautiful jersey, very lightweight, um, that uh, wicks and keeps you comfortably dry. Um, the next one is a new fabric to us. Uh, it's called Cool Fab Jersey. And we're testing it because it's very similar in weight to Power Dry. Um, however, it has some properties that are very interesting. And in fact, they're for two different purposes, these fabrics. The next one, uh, this white one, is a cooling piquet that we have. Um, and the next one is Polar Tech uh, again, and it's called Delta, and its construction is also PK. And when we talk about jersey and PK, they're actually a different kind of structure of knit. Um, and the PKs are usually a little bit heavier, uh, at least they are in this case, and that has um, a little bit of an impact on how much they cool and how much water that they will hold in order to evaporate. So. Let me just briefly explain the difference between a fast dry wicking fabric and a fabric that's constructed for cooling evaporation. Now, first of all, evaporative cooling is when uh, you're sweating and that moisture turns to vapor and as it's evaporating, it's cooler by roughly 20 degrees than the surrounding area. And of course, this depends on the humidity of the air and how much moisture is already in the air. But generally speaking, Whenever you sweat, you notice that your skin gets cold and that's evaporative cooling. And so some of the companies that are specializing in performance fabrics are capitalizing on our body's ability to evaporative, evap evaporatively cool and they are constructing the fabrics so that they hold a little tiny bit of moisture for a longer period of time and that helps you to stay cooler for longer. So. Um, the difference is just really briefly between the Polar Tech Delta and the construction of these other, the other PK and the Cool Fab are that Polar Tech Delta wicks moisture away from your body and then the, the yarn on the outside retains a small amount of that moisture for a fairly long period of time and that helps you stay cooler longer when you're sweating. The PK and the Cool Fab jersey are actually a, a construction of fiber on the outside of the fabric that creates more surface area. So they make a very complicated yarn structure, whether it's the jersey or the piquet, and that creates a, a bigger surface. So if you've got a, a square foot of fabric and it's got a whole bunch of um, ups and downs in the yarn structure, it creates a, you know more area. Whereas if you've got a completely flat piece of paper, for example, um, you only have the exact surface of that square. So it's kind of like if you're walking to your friend's house and there's a mountain in the middle, it's gonna take you a longer time to get there because you have to go over a longer area to get from point A to point B. Um, whereas Power Dry is a, hydro, a hydrophilic fabric, which means it absorbs water quickly, it wants it, knit to a hydrophobic fabric, which means it doesn't want water. So it pulls that water from your body. It spreads it across the outside because it's trying to get rid of it and evaporates immediately. So even though the Power Dry and the Cool Fab are very similar feeling and they're both jerseys, the Cool Fab is going to cool you longer if the, uh, the fabric is wet. And that's what we're here to prove today. If the fabric is not wet, they're basically going to be equal to each other and just basically a really nice jersey that drives relatively fast. So I'm gonna just go, well, first of all, I'm going to take the temperature with this little um, temperature thermometer and just show you that when the fabrics are dry, they basically are just taking on room temperature. Your surface temperature is 22.7 degrees so centigrade. 22.7 degrees centigrade. I had a chart that told us what that was in Fahrenheit and uh, maybe what we can do is just attach it in a post to this 
usually when I'm doing centigrade, I double it and add 30. So 22 times two is 44, 54, 64, so 74 degrees roughly Fahrenheit. Your surface temperature is 23 degrees centigrade. So all of these are roughly the same within a degree. Um, some of them are, you know, maybe just on a different surface. And if I were to put this on my arm, for example, it's going to take on a little bit of the temperature of my arm. So this fabric is actually gonna get warmer as you wear it. It takes a minute for it to come through. And it also matters where on your arm you put the fabric. So if you're wearing um, a cycling jersey, for example, and you're sweating, you're going to be hotter throughout your armpit and through where your blood pulses. So in the corner of your arm. So I'm just gonna quickly take that temperature. So it's gone up five degrees just because I have this fabric on my Your arm. surface temperature is 30 degrees centigrade. Okay, so 30 degrees because it's closer to an area where there's a lot of blood pumping, which is on the, on the inside of your elbow. So just quickly wanted to show you that really it's, it's room temperature or whatever temperature it happens to be on. Now I'm gonna grab the fabric, and these are the same four fabrics, that we have soaked and we've let hang for a little while so the air has been able to get at them a bit. And just shoot the power dry first. Your surface temperature is 16.6 degrees centigrade. So 16.6, and I'm going to shoot the cool fab, the yellow cool fab. Your surface temperature is 16.7 degrees centigrade. So Pretty much the same, right? Um, one is a cooling fabric, one isn't, but it doesn't matter when they're soaking wet because it's the moisture that's in the fabric that's creating the cooling. Is centigrade. But you can tell that, that based on having water in them and when they're evaporating, they're a lot cooler than when they're not wet. So they've already dropped, what, 9, 10 degrees centigrade, which is a lot. That's going to keep you cool. And when I'm feeling this fabric, it's, it's very, very cool. So any fabric, when it's wet and it's evaporating, is going to keep you cool for a certain amount of time. Um, but what makes the cooling fabric special is how long they will keep you cool. So we have another uh, set of fabric swatches here. And it's been around an hour since we did this exact same thing and wet them. And this is the Polartec Power Dry, and it's completely dry now. Your surface temperature is 22.6 degrees centigrade. Okay, so it's completely dry because it's designed to dry you. The next one is a the cooling cool fab. Your surface temperature is 22.6 degrees centigrade. Now it has also lost a lot of its cooling ability because it, even though it generally will cool. Um, very well for a longer time. I mean, this is actually, this power dry dried much faster than the cool fab. I'm going to see if there's any coolness at the bottom. Your surface temperature is 17.1 degrees centigrade. Yes, that's right. So it's cooler where it still has maintained that water in it. The top, obviously, gravity is bringing that moisture down as well as the breeze drying it in here. But the power dry is still almost 23 is degrees. And if we check the cooling piquet, the white fabric. Your surface temperature is 17.3 degrees centigrade. And lastly, we're going to check the delta from Polartec. Your surface temperature is 17.1 degrees centigrade. So you can see that the, um, the lightweight cooling jersey, the cool fab, it did cool much better or longer. Your than the power dry. But the, the piquet and the Polar Tech Delta piquet cooled longer because they're a little bit thicker fabric. They're all, these three are all cooling technology and this one is designed to dry very, very fast. So that's just a demonstration of how sweat activated cooling fabrics can work for you when you're cycling, when you're running, when you just need to stay cool. Um, you can also activate them by, you know, wetting them if you want to. Uh, but obviously, in very, very hot temperatures, you would have to re-wet re those fabrics 
occasionally to stay cool. So that's all we're going to do for, for today for this demonstration. We're going to be doing another video showing how our cooling towel works, the fabric, the microfiber fabric for the cooling towel, but it's not an apparel fabric. It's mainly just to make towels to put around your neck. Um, and we'll be doing the same temperature uh, tests with those. So thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, please ask in our group, So Inspired by Discovery Fabrics.